So ETD, this detector is in probably 90% of all electron microscopes. Some desktops don't come with an Everhart Thornley detector. Um, very few of the large full-size SEMs will not have it. But for the most part, this is the default. Everybody has it. When you use the Everhart Thornley, you're looking for surface topography. It's a secondary electron detector in its most common application. The things that you see can change depending on accelerating voltage. That same sample we looked at earlier being imaged at 15 kV. The contrast mechanisms are pretty similar to the first image I showed. But now in that gallium nitride, you can see some uh, very unusual contrast going on. Um, turns out those are dislocations, damage in the film that are subsurface. And at 15 kV, I'm penetrating into the, the bulk material and getting electrons out from a little bit deeper in. Whereas the 2 kV image, we're not seeing that surface. We're getting a bit more surface roughness on the top there. Um, that surface information might be critical, especially you say along the edges of the trace where the trace itself meets the gallium nitride, you can see a bit more definition. Um, that could be a point of interest. So choosing the KV um, can affect the Everhart Thornley. This detector that we call the ice detector, this is a thermoscientific detector, um, very specific to us, very similar to an Everhart Thornley. We use it primarily for secondary ion imaging. It's there as a secondary ion imaging detector. But because it works just like an Everhart Thornley, we can use it as a complementary detector. And when you look at this image, you can see that the shadowing mechanism on the ice detector is really bright in the upper left side of the image. Um, when you're trying to teach people electron microscopy, you end up using a lot of analogies that are incorrect, but that fit because people understand things. So this is like the sun is shining down from this direction and illuminating this side of the sample. You can also see it's illuminating this side of the sample, but right here we're in the shadow. The electrons can't escape from this surface, get up over the top of this and get to the detector. So you get less. And when you don't have as much, it's gonna be inherently darker. Why would you choose one versus the other? Well, we can see that the Everhart Thornley really allows you to highlight this edge of the sample. You can see that this film is kind of buckling up a little bit along here. You can see down inside here, see these cracks. The ice detector, we're in the shadow. But one difference, this particle over here really stands out with the ice detector image because it's within line of sight of the detector. Whereas here, that the details of that particle are lost in the shadows. So choosing each of these can kind of help you see more of your sample, especially if it has a lot of relief topography definition.